Hi, my name is Abbas Ali Kathiria. My store name is Jay-Z Embroidery. We are located in South Dallas in Texas. We've been here since 2009. So primary we offer is embroidery and screen printing, but then on top of that we do DTF and uh, DTF embroidery, screen printing, and all the promotional products, your swags, your giveaways, your uh, promotional needs. By trade, I'm a graphic designer, and I want to do something, I want to have my own business, and I was researching what can I do versus just working as a graphic designer at a graphic design company, and uh, I saw some billboards of, in San Antonio of some embroidery shop, and I was like, oh, let me do some research. I did some research, father and I did some research, and uh, we bought our first bearded machine, started with that, moved to Dallas, Texas in 2009, 2010, I believe, and uh, uh, from one bearded and we got three more six heads and uh, grew from there, basically. So mainly embroidery is what we focused on. We got better and better at it as uh, years passed by. So it was a struggle in the beginning, not just struggle on perfecting embroidery and digitizing and knowledge on how the bobbin and thread and the tension and everything else, but apart from that, uh, the struggle of getting orders uh, because YouTube and Google search wasn't really big back then, 2009-10. There was not any uh, training videos, if you will, on YouTube, so it was all struggle, damaging shirts, learning our own how the way of digitizing work, everything matters from a good German needle to a, a good German thread, which is Madeira. So everything mattered. And uh, it was a struggle in the beginning. It took us a while to learn. And uh, we were working the jobs, different, Dad and I were working different jobs for about a year and a half while having a broader shop just to pay bills. So yes, definitely, let alone seeing uh, pay for a year and a half, we were just trying to figure out how to pay the bills for the shop. We had only one embroidery single head machine and a six head and with God's grace a customer walked in, a contractor walked in, a school uniform shop walked in and said hey we want to subcontract your uniform shop, we just give you boxes, you produce it, you give it back to me, we put it on the shelf and sell it but I want to make sure that you can do this because we will bring you thousands more and I'm like absolutely so with single head and a six head, we had to work because we had four or five thousand pieces laying around here with one 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 month of turnaround time, and and we all know anybody watching out there that takes time. So if you're running six head, six piece in a 20 minute job, and you got three thousand pieces, you're there for two months. So we would stay and work late, uh, two or three shifts. Dad and I, mom. And we were in the beginning stage where we couldn't really afford to hire somebody. So, uh, yeah, 6 a.m. to, I remember 6 a.m. to 5 p.m., 6 p.m. to uh, 2 a.m., and then another shift we will start from 5 a.m. to again, you know, repeat a couple of months. Um, so, definitely had a, some serious struggles, and finally, with the hard work paid off to the point where. Uh, their business picked up, the uniform business picked up, and he came by and said, hey, do you mind getting more machines? Because I have a $10,000 piece, 10,000 piece job, and I know with what you're doing, you're doing us all day long, but can you grow? I'm like, absolutely. Got a loan from the bank, helped out, got more machines. He came by more, he said, hey, I'm, I'm, we love your quality uh, compared to other people we've given jobs to. Uh, can you buy another one? Uh, and I'm like, absolutely. So here we are. I had four or six heads at one point. I had to get rid of it because of lack of space. But uh, so, yes, uh, it's, it's been a blessing. That's all I can say. Blessing from the elders, blessing from Almighty God. For a while, I was the graphic guy. I'm the invoice guy, the phone call, the invoicing, the emailing, answering phone calls. So. I wear a lot of hat. I wore a lot of hats for many years uh, till I was able to hire, you know, production. Oh, I was a production too. So I roll up my sleeve in many situations where okay, let's just get this done. And being a family-owned, being small, 
shop, I would work late. There were times we would work for till 3 a.m. just to meet the requirements because we were excited to get that big order in the beginning. And we said, time is not a problem. We'll take shifts, dad and I and mom, and we'll sleep and uh, a few hours and work out, uh, work the uh, machines and get the job done. So definitely. Definitely having a storefront helped a lot because from the from the beginning, we never started from a garage. We always had a little shop and a tiny little shop, one of those 300 square feet shop behind inside a HEB, behind the counter there shops, behind the counter some little banks and dressers and whatnot. We were there, started from there. So I never started from the garage, but technically I was still going out and uh, talking to people and trying to get jobs, but uh, because I didn't have much walk-ins. But having an actual 3,000 square feet shop here is definitely a game changer because A, no matter how much business you do, if you go talk to somebody and not having physical location, you still consider it a garage shop, you know, a home-based business. Versus I couldn't be making half of what the garage guy is making, but the fact that somebody can rely on coming to a physical location, seeing a showroom, what we have, and the production in the back we have, it matters a lot because now the, the mindset is, okay, they're in a legit shop and the fact that I display that I've been here for so many years and and the fact that I also display that hey I'm a graphic designer there are so many instances where customer would need something changes real quick I'm like why don't you sit down real quick let me just do click 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 change that and show you exactly how your final product might look like versus let me get back to you let me email you then me sending to my graphic designer to get approved and send it back to the customer and the customer says no, I want these changes versus if I'm in front of the customer they ask me five changes to make I'm doing that within two three minutes of years of doing Photoshop and Illustrator uh, I'm able to achieve that where customers are very happy like wow he can do that right away versus any of the shop is you know they're getting back to me in a couple of days and and it just delays the process we researched uh, multiple softwares, one being Printavo and uh, Inksoft. Price were, I, think, I don't remember exactly, price, one of them, well, price was just exactly as Deco, but then the website version was not there. And a couple of the things I realized, you know, print, Deco is giving me more value for the, more bang for the buck. So we decided to do a trial. There was a Christmas time, Deco was, having a deco had a sale for no setup and free one month and i was like hey if i don't like it there's no setup which is a thousand dollars normally and so uh, it's a win-win situation if i don't like it in a month the setup is free the month is free if i don't like it i can just cut it off and just move back to my old ways which i didn't want it to so started deco helped me tremendously because now customers are only coming to me because as soon as the job is done even if it's a 10 o'clock noon job is done my production lady on her ipad closes the job customer gets notified right away they know right away i can just come by there and it's ready to go ready to pick up so that way it helped out help, helped out a lot the dtf online ordering system the fact that the mere fact that deco displays when i close a job deco displays this is the picture of your job which got which is closed and ready to pick up they like that i get that feedback hey i'm using multiple softwares with the shop card with somebody else but the fact that your software is actually showing me the picture of the sheet because I uploaded seven sheets and if you're sending me an order number closed and I'm seeing the order number not a picture I'm confused which one did I which one did you actually get ready I don't remember I uploaded ten sheets but a picture on there is really nice that's the feedback I got uh, I get all the time but Deco tremendously help us manage production none of the headache of is my stuff ready and uh, overall, the payment system, the fact that you can have a link now and pay. Uh, QuickBooks had that too, but I get better pricing um, because QuickBooks won't allow you to have a third-party payment system. Uh, Deco does Stripe and Authorize.net. When we started in 2009, we were in a smaller location. This is my third location we moved to in 14 years. 500 square feet, 300 square feet, if you will, bigger every time in the same complex. The only reason I moved for such a small number of square footage because it's just the same complex. I'm not 
moving truck. I'm just literally dragging this beast from three stores down to here. So we move about three locations to the next. We're very excited. We have something working right now in works right now that we are uh, possibly moving to a bigger square footage. So next, my goal is to move to a 5,000 square feet from my 2,500 square feet, 2,600 square feet place. At that point, we are excited to start our own screen printing too, which then at, at that point, since right now we are outsourcing screen printing, at that point, having our own screen printing shop can benefit us a lot because at that point, we are one-stop shop. DTF, embroidery, screen printing, uh, all the three major printing process at this point. Very excited for the future, yes sir.